Good afternoon. I just wanted to have a quick chat to you about anxiety this afternoon because it's one of the most highly listed things when people come to see me. It's often in the top three things that people want to work on in the next three to six months. So it is out there and it's messing with people's lives and it's stopping people being able to get on and move forward with their lives. So when you think about anxiety, anxiety is a fear of something happening in the future and it's nearly always because of stuff that's happened to us in the past. So the body doesn't want to feel that way again so we go into a fight or a flight or a freeze around that same thing happening again. So it's called anticipatory anxiety and it's really exhausting on the adrenal glands, it's exhausting on the nervous system, it can shut down the gut, it can mess with our immune system, it can just really uh, create so much energy in people's lives worrying about things that really 99% of the time never happens. So anxiety is something that is major and it messes with people. So from a naturopathic perspective, what we need to do, there's a group of herbs called nervines and there's a group of herb called adaptogens. So adaptogens and nervines are the sort of herbs that have an affinity for the nervous system. They have an affinity for those organs that we need under stress and they help to make them stronger and more resilient. So some of my favorite products are actually things that are called Resilient, stress in, relax in, adapt in. Uh, you know, they're the t nervine calm, nervine care, neuro calm. You know, these sort of combinations always have combinations of herbs in them and nutrients, but mainly herbs that calm the nervous system down. Now, having said that, one of the main things we make in the brain that calms down anxiety is a neurotransmitter called GABA. Now, GABA is, is we make it ourselves, but it's switched off in the brain when we're running on stress hormones because our nervous system thinks if we're running on stress hormones, we need them because we're about to get eaten by a tiger. So therefore, the body's pretty clever in the fact that it doesn't allow you to become under stress because then you would relax and the tiger would eat you. So... It's a regulatory system in the body that's obviously gone haywire with some people and basically to calm it down, the kinesiology that I do obviously is a big part of that, working on the survival patterns, working on the adrenals, working on the systems of belief that life is going to be okay, that life isn't going to be stressful every day for the rest of your lives. So from the kinesiology perspective, I work on belief systems, I work on goal setting, looking forward to something in the future. I work on uh, settling down those survival patterns. And then we start to look at getting the conscious brain up and running more, more so. So that's, that's in the kinesiology world. From that primitive reflex perspective that we've been chatting about in some of the recent sessions, if the morrow reflex is active, so go check out the video on how to do the morrow exercise every day. Morning and night takes you two minutes a day. So by doing the morrow exercise every day, it helps to reconnect pathways of the frontal cortex with the rear of the brain, helping to reconnect them. So if we are someone who has always had anxiety about not being right, anxiety about not being smart enough, anxiety about not being perfect under stress, our morrow reflex has possibly been active for some reason. It's never fully disappeared from the time we're born. It's supposed to be gone or fully diffused by the time we're about four months old. The classic Moro reflex thing is when we jolt under stress. Someone slams a door and we jolt. We, uh, you know, you hear the phone ring and you jolt, you know, so it's, uh, you know, it can be, it can manifest around the place. And then, of course, nutrients. So there's combinations of calcium, magnesium, potassium and activated B vitamins that help to calm down the glutamate in the brain. Glutamate is an excitatory hormone. Uh, it's great when you want to get things done and it's supposed to be there short term to get your little butt moving. But when it's there long term, once again, it creates anxiety, you can get the heart pumping, it can make us feel stressed. So the nutrients, the calciums, magnesiums, potassiums, B-complex, that sort of thing, they help to calm down the glutamate in the brain. There's a specific combination we need and that allows the GABA to start 
lifting again. So thinking about anxiety, you know, there's really fantastic herbs, there's really fantastic nutrients, kinesiology processes that can help to settle them down, doing that moro reflex every day and breathing exercises. Look, there are a million YouTube videos on how to do breathing exercises, but when you start to breathe fast, your body assumes you're stressed. So when you chew, uh, so when you start to slow down your breathing, your brain goes, ah, oh, things might be okay. There's a good old trick, putting a pen between your teeth. By doing that, you automatically lift your cheeks. It looks like to your brain, like a smile. So therefore your brain assumes you're happy. So sometimes even just putting a pencil between your teeth for 30 seconds or a minute or something can activate the feel good hormones and make your brain feel like, hmm, everything's gonna be okay. Chewing gum. When we're stressed and anxious, you don't feel hungry. So uh, getting the saliva moving can be really important. So what makes your saliva nice and active? By chewing gum, that gets the saliva going, so sometimes just that simple act of chewing gum can support the anxiety coming down because your brain goes, oh, saliva, therefore I can eat, therefore I'm not going to get eaten by a tiger in this next three minutes. So there's all sorts of little things that you can do to help with your anxiety and there's so much of it out there and I hope that this helps someone you love or yourself don't forget to subscribe have a great weekend it's looking like a beautiful day here in brisbane australia we've just had you've probably seen in the news we've had so many bushfires lately at one stage there were over 30 separate bushfires around this area uh, i've got a client of mine who lost everything on his property except the house so the tanks and the electricals and all sorts of things are gone. It's just the firemen have been phenomenal, just phenomenal. So anyway, that's just here. But have a great weekend and uh, see you soon. Bye.